Welcome to the SharePoint Review. My name is Dougie from Valto and we are Microsoft Gold Partners. We've delivered thousands of SharePoint projects and understand the needs of our clients when they're starting out their journey with SharePoint. So we feel we can give you really good um, examples uh, of how SharePoint can be used and what potentially some of the things you should be looking out for and some useful insights along the way. So first off, what is SharePoint? SharePoint is a product from Microsoft that provides an internal portal known as an intranet. It also provides an excellent document management experience, allowing users to easily upload, edit and delete documents based on their levels of access. There are multiple versions of SharePoint. What you're viewing on your screen at the moment is SharePoint Online. However, you can install an on-premise version of SharePoint, um, but the version that I'm showing you at the moment is SharePoint Online, which is used through Microsoft 365. So what are some of the benefits, some of the pros of SharePoint? So the first thing is around a SharePoint intranet, which is what you're looking at right now. Now using SharePoint, you can very quickly build powerful intranet portals that can help boost employee engagement. Your SharePoint intranet will typically help employees navigate around complex document structures and point them to useful resources. The SharePoint intranet should be also uh, uh, contain additional features and functionality uh, to interest your employees enough to want to return back to the internet. You might uh, uh, also replace things like internal email traffic with SharePoint news articles. This keeps your employees informed and naturally will boost traffic towards your uh, new internet. We can see some examples of how news can be displayed uh, using the news web part here. And also this slideshow across the top is also showing news and that can pull uh, both internal and external news items into it. Often a common complaint from employees is not having enough direction from senior leadership. Uh, using SharePoint, you can quickly set up a platform for your senior management or CEO to post out frequent updates and direction to all staff. This we can see uh, as an example, I've got this Leadership Connect site set up, or it could be branded as CEO messages, where you can post the latest kind of information and messages um, to potentially all colleagues via uh, a uh, Yammer feed like this. There might also be information about senior leadership or a bio, uh, as well as upcoming events and news articles directly generated from here. Another pro, another really good feature of SharePoint is its ability for external sharing. If you do not um, give your employees a platform for sharing documents externally, they'll often source their own solutions to this, typically using third party products such as Dropbox, WeTransfer or Box. The problem with this is that then that, that is outside of the control of your IT department and poses a significant security risk. If an employee left the business and still had access to, the, to these third party products via a personal email address, there's no way for you to remove their access to company data. However, if you were to use SharePoint, for example, like this, this onboarding portal I'm showing you here um, for that particular scenario, if an employee was to leave the business, all you need to do is block their Office 365 account and they no longer have access to that data. If you were to use a SharePoint site that's had enabled external sharing, you would need uh, to, to, to worry about actually uh, blocking them afterwards. It's all controlled by the SharePoint permissions. Opening up your SharePoint for external access is often referred to as an extranet. We've helped many clients build external facing uh, extranets for things like supplier management portals, recruitment process portals, uh, for example, like this onboarding portal, where we can see we can share this with um, a, a new starter before they've even joined our business and got an Office 365 account. So, so they can get a general feel of how we work, um, some uh, information about how, uh, sort of our processes, meeting the team, senior leaders and generally getting a feel for the business before they've uh, actually got onboarded with a 365 account. The next major pro, the benefit of using this is the ability for SharePoint to integrate directly with Microsoft Teams. Now, Microsoft Teams is becoming the one-stop shop for everything you need within Microsoft 365 platform. Not only is it providing employees with a chat room type forum for their colleagues and making it simple to access their files, it's also providing a centralized area for employees to access key business applications and useful links all under one roof. This then makes an obvious move to make your SharePoint intranet accessible directly inside of Microsoft Teams. 
Using the newly released Viva, you can simply integrate your SharePoint intranet as a tab for all employees to access from the left-hand side of Microsoft Teams. As you can see here, we've got our intranet embedded directly inside of Teams by clicking on this tab uh, on the left-hand side. Another great feature of SharePoint is improving the communication using SharePoint newsletters. Now, although internet owners and communication departments are often aware that SharePoint Online can create news articles, not many are aware that you can also create newsletters from those articles. Newsletters is a great feature of SharePoint Online that allows you to provide a title, description, and selection of news articles that have previously been created. So from our homepage, we can see our news here. If I click on see all, I'll also then be presented with this option to create an email news digest. So I can select some of the news articles that I want to include in this digest and select the next button. I can then give my news digest a name. So maybe I want to call this my winter newsletter. I can specify who this is going to. So I'm just going to specify myself for now. I then put in uh, a little bit of text about this. Oops. which is then going to be automatically then put into a newsletter template. So when I click on send news digest, it's going to send me that email uh, in a nice formatted template. So this newsletter then comes through and this is what it looks like. So it's got a nice generic kind of template. If I was to click on these articles, I can go directly to it or I can click on the go to site button, which will take me directly to that SharePoint site. This is a great way to not only boost employee engagement, but assist in user adoption of SharePoint uh, by driving traffic directly to your new modern SharePoint intranet. There are some other pros of using SharePoint, which I'm going to include inside the blog article that you can get access to directly from the description in this video. Now, this wouldn't be a fully rounded off um, review if I didn't include some of the um, cons as well of SharePoint. There are a few pitfalls when using SharePoint, including thresholds of how many items that you can store in certain areas of SharePoint. That is why it's vital that you properly design out your SharePoint structure before building it. Inside the blog article, I've included some links that are gonna explain to you exactly what these different thresholds are, um, but they are usually typically around the amount of files uh, rather than the overall kind of size. So properly managing where you store those files is gonna be key. Another sort of downside to, to sort of SharePoint um, is that it does require a sort of uh, a trusted kind of Microsoft partner to help set that up for you. It's not something that you can just um, jump directly into and start going with straight away. SharePoint is not the easiest technology to set up and it truly requires a team of professionals to oversee the deployment to avoid any potential security or storage implications. Another kind of con of SharePoint is that people that have used SharePoint previously in the past have got a, a sort of a bad reputation about SharePoint. Um, that it, typically they say things like um, that it might be clunky, a bit ugly, uh, and just not really um, a, a sort of a nice kind of user experience. That's often what we refer to as classic SharePoint experience. And this is a bit of an example of what a classic SharePoint site looked like. As I say, very clunky, um, doesn't look particularly appealing um, and can put people off. And that can be the impression that people have about SharePoint based on using it from years ago. And this would be a typical kind of department type of layout with a bit of imagery and news feed documents, things like that. However, with the new modern experience of SharePoint, we can have a really good looking department site, uh, which is full jam packed with useful information, uh, events, documents and news. And it all looks much more modern uh, and more appealing to be using. So this new modern SharePoint experience has not only made the SharePoint internet look great, but also makes it run much faster and smoother. If you're interested in SharePoint, do have a look at the blog article. I've also outlined some really cool features which are coming up in SharePoint in, in the coming year, as well as some information if you're wanting to find out about the pricing of SharePoint and some general advice about getting started. Um, if you're looking for support with SharePoint, um, 
and, and getting started generally, um, or maybe potentially you've already got SharePoint and you're using it, but you're struggling a bit, uh, then Valto are here to help. We can provide support directly um, from our support desk to you um, or provide training to your existing team to upskill them, allowing them to support themselves. So if you're looking for a helping hand, please reach out to us today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, training packages, and pay-as-you-go support that can bridge those knowledge gaps within your current team. You can email me at dougie.valto.co.uk, and we also offer free consultations to discuss your specific requirements. We'll then give you a no-obligation quote. If that sounds good, I hope to hear from you soon.